Greetings, welcome back to the Garden City High School Counseling Department page. Don't forget the awesome resources that are found on the left side of the screen, including the names and contact information for each academy counselor. The enrollment process is a vital component to a student's success. In order to reach maximum potential, students must investigate all requirements and guidelines that relate to their goals of high school and post-graduation. This includes understanding the GCHS graduation requirements, qualified admissions, and assured admissions to the state schools here in Kansas, the Regent Scholars Curriculum, and for students seeking an athletic scholarship, the standards of the NCAA and NAIA eligibility centers. Students must also investigate the admission processes of colleges and universities they are interested in attending to ensure correct course enrollment. These aspects are discussed in the other video on the website, so be sure to check them out. To begin the enrollment process, the first step is for the student to review his or her graduation requirement check as provided by the upperclassmen counselors to future 10th grade, 11th, and 12th graders. The freshman counselor will advise incoming 9th graders with other resources. Students must first and foremost meet the 24 credit requirement in the given areas listed on the sheet, which may include credit recovery for past failed classes. If a student is interested in graduating a year early during, the, during the, his or her junior year, he or she will have to plan accordingly with extra classes through options such as night school. If you are a student who plans to graduate as a junior, you will want to let your counselor know by making a note of your plans on your enrollment sheet as well as emailing a declaration to them. The next concern for a student to consider is if he or she plans to follow any of the, follow, follow any of the additional post Garden City High School requirements. Kansas Qualified, Assured Admissions to KU, Kansas Scholars, or NCAA. Some students may follow several, if not all. If this is the case, students should review the resources on these areas in the enrollment guide located on the website when selecting courses. Finally, students will review their respective enrollment guide and make the appropriate selections on the enrollment sheet provided by the counselors. Each graduating class is represented by a color. For example, the class of 2019 has a pink enrollment form this year. Using the enrollment guide is an essential tool in completing this process. The enrollment guide found on the counselor's website is for 10th through 12th graders for the upcoming year. The soon to be ninth graders will use their own guide as found on their enrollment sheet that specifically shows courses for freshmen. 10th through 12th graders. It is imperative that you read the descriptions of each of the courses to make sure you meet the criteria required for enrollment such as grade level, prerequisite classes met, succession order of pathways, and interest. The enrollment guide also provides you with a list of courses that meet the requirements in the computer section, fine arts, and oral commu communication categories, respectively. When using the enrollment form, at the top of the enrollment form, students will complete the top section of demographic information. The phone number is helpful to counselors if they need to make quick contact with the student because there is an issue or concern with the schedule created. Also, there is a section for Academy First and Second Choice, which is taken into consideration when counselors meet to review course selections. The section for GCC Summer Course Interest is just for a possibility. Students should write down the courses they are interested in but are in no way committed to taking them. This will allow for counselors to better serve students who may need to enroll once GCC posts the schedule for this summer. The next area of the enrollment form is a section where it's broken down into helpful categories so students can select the appropriate core class. On the back of the form is the section for elective options. Students should note that they may have to use the elective spaces for past core classes failed that are required for graduation. Furthermore, students can add classes as electives that are from the core area. For example, a student may select zoology as the science class requirement, but then add astronomy as an elective, class as an elective option. Students, you must include alternate, alternate electives at the bottom of the sheet in case it is not possible to place you in one of your top elective choices. With each academy, there are certain course pairings requirements, so be prepared for your counselor to call you in for clarification in the event that pairings are not met. For seniors only, for the fall semester, it is possible for you to take a zero hour class in order to have seventh hour off. This is only for seniors. If you would like to do that in your schedule, be sure to mark the correct places on your enrollment form. 
Additionally, if you want to graduate the semester in December, you must have all of your requirements met by then. The second semester of your enrollment form will be marked early graduation, so no enrollment can take place. Juniors, you may opt to take a zero hour class, but you will still remain with the full schedule for all seven hours. Students taking a zero hour will require a special parent signature at the start of class. The final part of the enrollment form is at the very top of the first slide. Students must get a parent signature and write down the name of their fourth hour teacher. The enrollment process is a quick turnaround, so it is important for students to read the enrollment guide and make decisions based on their goals. All enrollment forms must be given to their, to their counselor um, based on the designation. During the process, students will be given the deadlines. If a student fails to meet this deadline, he or she may not get the desired classes as spots may fill up quickly. So it is essential that you complete the enrollment process in a timely fashion. If you have any questions, again, please contact your respective academy counselor. Thank you.